Apparently there's mainly two types of mods and that's all I'm going to cover in this video. The first type being Bepinex mods where you need to install Bepinex and then you can put whatever mods you would like to use in the plugins folder. And then the second type being assembly C sharp mods where you just replace the game assembly. You can check the chapters of the video and skip to whatever part you want. If it's a Bepinex mod, first you're going to need to download Bepinex. So I'll have the link in the description. You're going to want Bepinex 5, not 6. For most Windows users, you're going to want to get Bepinex X64. Once you have that downloaded, just go to your game in Steam, right click, properties, installed files browse and it's going to bring you to your game directory then you're going to want to extract all the bepinex files into your game directory folder like so and then you'll need to run your game once you start the game and then you can close the game and now if you go in the bepinex folder it should have created some more and you should have a plugins folder if you do not have the plugins folder it means you installed something incorrectly double check you use the correct version and it's installed in the right spot if you do have the plugins folder then you're good to go and you can install whatever mods you'd like so for example got the hard mode mod you're just going to extract the hard mode into the plugins folder and next time you launch the game hard mode will be active anytime you want to play the game without plugins you can just remove this from the plugins folder or delete it entirely some mods might be more than just a dll they might also be a folder but if you put them in this plugins folder it should still work now if the mod you're installing is an assembly c sharp mod you're going to go to your game in steam right click properties go to installed files and browse that'll bring you to your game directory then you're going to go into the data folder and the managed folder. And generally, when you're replacing your assembly C sharp, it's good practice just to back up the original. So I'm going to rename the original to backup. And then you can put the modded assembly in the folder. And this part's very important. Make sure the file name is exactly assembly dash C sharp. Then you can launch your game, and whatever mods are put into that modded assembly will be in your game. Please note there's a few fallbacks to using assembly mods. They need to be updated every time the game is updated. So if you have an old mod, it probably won't work. And we currently do not have easy access to previous builds of the game. And if you have a pirated version of the game, please just buy the game. Don't ask modders to port back all their mods to old stolen versions of the game. To uninstall mods, as for Bepinex mods, I would suggest deleting the Bepinex folder and going to your game properties, going to installed files and verify integrity of game files. It'll replace anything that's been modified. And for assembly mods to uninstall, you go back into your data and your managed folder. You can delete the modified assembly and you can rename your backup to assembly C sharp and your game will be unmodded again. Or you can just verify your game files by right clicking the game, going to properties, installed files and hit verify integrity. And that will replace any modified files. I've also had lots of people asking about Unity Explorer. Unity Explorer fortunately also has a Bepinex version. So you're gonna to wanna to go to the Unity Explorer page, scroll down to Bepinex and download the version for 5.x, not 6. And again, being a Bepinex mod, we're just gonna extract that into the plugins folder. And we don't want a plugins folder in the plugins folder, so we're gonna take what's in the plugins folder and put that in. Next time you launch your game, you should have Unity Explorer. You just press F7 to access the menus. For how to install specific things for specific mods, like cosmetics or VR models, I will not be getting into that in this video. If you check the description, I will try to link any relevant tutorials as they release for specific mods.